Hi guys, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome. I wanted to come forward and do like a bit of an energy update. There are a few more messages that want to come through. So I did pull out a tarot deck just to see sort of what would come forward for us. One, the energy is really intense right now. I know in Aquarius season, I was talking about how there were these smaller waves of energy that were coming in and they were bringing really good things. And you were going to start to notice um, a small but steady increase in your energy, in your general optimism, um, in the improvement of the circumstances going on around you. Now that we're in Pisces season, um, we the, the game has been kind of leveled up a little bit. And so these waves are coming in much stronger than they were in February. That is a really good thing. Um, a lot of you guys are going to start seeing kind of um, the physical manifestation of a lot of what you've been working for. As I always say, things are established in the spirit first before they come down into the natural when there is like a spiritual decree when you set an intention right and then you match that with your physical effort right the right idea the right feeling the right vision with the right action they lock in and then the process just like a pulley system begins where it starts to come down into the physical now as that is happening you are going to experience like a little bit of dissidence Yes, there is spiritual interference going on. Yes, some of you may be experiencing something that feels akin to a psychic attack. More than a psychic attack, it really feels like there is a lot of telepathic interference. And so what I'm really pulling in from that is a lot of you followed your guidance. You purged, you healed, you forgave, and you released. But some of the things that you released might not have totally released you right just because you've moved on from something doesn't mean other people have moved on from something just because you're no longer in an environment right it doesn't mean that there still isn't like an energetic quarter connection there now it's really irritating i understand how frustrating that could be you may be feeling like things and people popping up and feeling their energetic presence around you and it can be kind of aggravating with that being said though there does seem to be like this big message about let spirit let god let your guides and your ancestors let them take care of it it's kind of this like eviction notice energy that like i've been pulling in it's the idea of you can put your swords down because like we're gonna take care of it like what we want you guys to do is to stay really present is to stay focused on what you're doing on your highest vision right and if anything pull in the guidance that you need to help you to prepare this really is a moment for a lot of us of kind of pulling in divine strategy that is needed in this new season when we move from winter to spring immediately the physical environment may not look very different but you can feel the shift in your spirit that spring has come and so what do you do you do spring cleaning you get the things that you need for this upcoming season you pull out your shorts you, you put away the parkas right this is a lot of what we're doing right now especially between now and the virgo full moon don't forget virgo as a sign represents harvest seasons it's picking out what we no longer need what are we going to use now? What are we going to use later? What don't we need? What wasn't um, ripe or fruitful in this past season? It's an organization, right? And so a lot of you guys are going to be feeling as though you're nesting within the next like two weeks wanting to throw some stuff out, um, wanting to refocus, reprioritize your energy. Um, with all of that being said, there are huge seismic energy shifts going on around and a lot of them are coming through the Schumann resonance. I have been blabbering, posting updates on my Instagram about the Schumann resonance for a year since last spring. And if you check the chart, if you check the car facts, you'll notice that within the last three or four days, the spikes have been astronomical. They've been out of this world, literally. Um, if you look at one particular one, I think it was around like the fourth, one of the spikes actually looks like a sword or a crucifix, like depending on, on how you look at it. But it, it was one really confirming to me um, this kind of flash of discernment and focus 
coming in and it was also really confirming to me of the idea that anything that is still trying to stick to you like glue is being severed on your behalf so do not feel as though you have to allocate your energy in that direction that you can continue focusing it on the present and on the future with that being said with all of these schumann flares you may experience things like aggravation or like bouts of irritation that come out of nowhere, restlessness or exhaustion. You might find yourself on either of the polarities. You're going to feel a little bit of vertigo. You might feel some tension or some pressure headaches, especially around your third eye. Dehydration is huge huge right now so drink as much water as you can make sure you're getting your electrolytes do your grounding exercises some of you literally just said it's boring i know i know that grounding can be boring sometimes but try your best you can obviously do it sitting outside booty in the grass you can take salt baths those are incredibly grounding and purifying you can eat your root vegetables right your your potatoes your carrots your your sweet potatoes your rutabagas your radishes onions garlic anything that is a root vegetable is really going to help you um, keep your energy grounded keeping your spaces clear will also help some of you will see shifts in your sleep some of you are sleeping more soundly now than you have in the last few weeks some of you may experience again the other side of the spectrum where your sleep is a little bit more broken up the sleep feels deeper the dreams and the visuals and the images that are coming in as well also feel whatever you remember from your dreams right now you were supposed to remember whatever it is that fades away let it fade away part of this exhausted feeling is you guys are doing a lot in the astral right now you don't take take it from me you don't want to remember everything that you're doing in the astral so whatever you are able to take out of your dreams take it rock with it look up the symbolism put it in your journal but if there's that nagging feeling of like there's something else that happened there's something else i need to know there's something else i'm not getting that's on purpose a lot of you are purposefully being blocked off from seeing some things that are happening on the other side of the veil some of your intuitions might feel like a little bit askew part of that reason is because we're upgrading the crown right now that's also why grounding is super important. That upgrade in the crown in your consciousness and your intuitive abilities is being facilitated by these huge high frequency flares going on in the human. And we do, when we do energy center work, we do crown and root together. So that's also why grounding is so important because it's going to allow you to integrate and anchor in all of these new energies all of these new perspectives if it feels like the lights got turned down on your intuition or on your visuals your clairvoyance right now that's on purpose they're gonna go spinal tap all the way up to 11 very very soon probably within the next two weeks again by the full moon you're gonna notice a big shift in that Oh, is there anything else i want to go through so also what seems to be happening right now is there is um another activation happening within the sacred feminine energies there's a lot going on with the rose lines and the rose codes right now so the way that's going to manifest for some of you remember we all have masculine and feminine energy they are truly not separate centers they are one unified energy but we separate them so we can examine and heal what we need to however some of you may be seeing an increase in roses, the word rose, um, the petals, the flower is something that might just come up a lot for you. The word may, may as a name, may as a month may be significant for a lot of you, um, particularly with Taurus being in the North Node now. You also may see the name Mary a lot. That could be Mother Mary. That could also be mary magdalene energy right um kind of two sides of different expressions of sacred feminine energy you may also feel a lot more influence from like goddess energy right now throughout all of the cultures throughout all of the pantheon so you may start seeing a lot of divine mother goddesses coming forward again like mother mary like the durga um like freya like all of these different sacred divine feminine goddess energies that are being reactivated again and part of that is to help support the masculine energies that are um upgrading 
right now and these masculine energies that are coming forward to be tempered and to be elevated they're actually coming from the earth i know when we talk about earth energy we always talk about it as mother earth right absolutely however Earth is also not one noted. So it also means that Earth's frequency, Gaian frequency, it's not just feminine, it's also masculine. So you're going to see some of these bouts of aggravation or irritation and stuff like that is the um, whatever it's distorted masculine energy from the Earth, from the archives, the Akashic of the Earth being purged out. And that's why the rose lines, um, the rose and the Mary symbolism, all of this stuff is coming forward to help nurture and support these masculine energies in their own elevation. That gap between the two of them, it is being bridged right now. Part of the way that's happening is through Christ consciousness. So those of you, you may not rock with Jesus, right? Like, and, and that's your business. But you may start seeing a lot more people talking about Jesus, which I personally love, but talking about Jesus, you may feel the influence of Christ energy coming in a little bit more. And it is the influence of this Christ consciousness of the rainbow, this unified frequency happening spiritually, happening with the elementals, happening with feminine and masculine energies. And that's also, again, closing the gap between what was just a spiritual vision for you and what is a physical manifestation it's like the russian dolls of unification right now so yes you're going to feel some interference yes you're going to feel some squeezing yes you may have a headache and you might be a little dehydrated and you might be a little aggravated right but in a way it is a it's growing pains um but there i just want to remind you that there are a lot of really beautiful things coming in for so many of you, the fruits of your labor are, are really going to start coming into view in a way that you hadn't really imagined before. With that being said, you may also find that you were being guided to tend to certain areas of your life that previously you had put on the back burner. So for a lot of you, that's personal relationships. A lot of you, that's body confidence. A lot of you, that is romance. Um, that for a lot of you, that is community building, right? Again, it is a, the the internal spiritual emotional work that you've been doing on your own is now wanting to be expressed outwardly through your connection to others. No man is an island, but sometimes you got to Tom Hanks it in order to get your shit together. And this was something that had come through a bit in the Cancer and the Leo readings that I had done yesterday. So if those resonate for you, you might want to go and check out those readings that I did. I'm trying to think if there's just anything else coming forward. Just a little bit more about about the jesus thing um i do feel like there's a spiritual healing going on right now particularly for those of you that have experienced religious trauma at the hands of the church which is a terrible awful disgusting thing and i'm so sorry you ever had to deal with that i grew up in catholic church i used to i used to do interpretive dances for jesus at a military chapel like i was in there right and i also got kicked out of catholic school so like i under i i get it I totally get it. There is a wave. And so part of this Christ consciousness that, that is kind of coming forward is also the energy of Christ coming forward, wanting to rectify a relationship that got soured um, because you had bad teachers, because you had bad religious leaders around you, because the church and the scripture was weaponized against you. And that is not Christ consciousness. That is not what believers of Jesus are supposed to do. Yes. And so part of this is not only religious trauma that is maybe coming up to be healed right now, but a lot of you who may not have um, like a close relationship with Jesus, it doesn't feel like he's, he's coming to take you away or anything. Right. But you may feel the influence of that energy coming in, just really trying to reconcile with you, like get to know him or experience that energy for yourself. 
when I first got reintroduced to Jesus, I had an issue with it. Like I really had a hard time bridging that gap because I felt like Jesus is too good for me. Like, like it was just didn't, it just didn't vibe. And, and the message that had come through for me, and this was like three years ago now, it was get to know me for yourself, get to know me outside of the church, not what other people told you, but just me, just feel my energy, my frequency, just get to know me like a friend. You don't have to worship me. You don't have to do all that razzle dazzle. Just let me, let me clear some things up for you about who I am. And because of that approach, it was so healing for me. And it did allow me to, even if I, I didn't recreate a relationship, it allowed me to work through a lot of religious trauma that I had experienced. So some of you, and it's not for all of you, but some of you may be experiencing that. But part of that is also the influence of the activation of these kind of sacred feminine energies, the road codes, um, the rose codes and the rose lines as well. So let's pray. Uh, <laughs> that being said, again, that's not, it's not going to be for all of you, but it's going to be for some of you. Um, and if you do feel that coming in, I, I just want you to know that it's, it's, it's on the docket, right? It's not out of left field. It, it's on the docket collectively for a lot of you. Um, but let's pray. And uh, this is the golden tarot of the Renaissance. I'm really liking this deck. Some of the, um, card meanings are the complete opposite of the regular tarot, which really like, it really, you know, it, it pleases me in, in many ways. So let's pray. Father God, thank you for bringing me and everyone in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for everyone's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. So let's see what we got right here. So I'm seeing the three of pentacles and it's coming out in reverse. Some of you are, are changing who you work with and what you work on. Some of you may have found yourself in the last year or in the last few months trying to collaborate. A lot of the message has been talking about collaboration and you may have gotten into some of those situations only to find out that they ended up very kind of um, clicky or competitive in a way that was unproductive. So some of you may be re-picking up um, old plans, old projects on your own. Some of you may have new um, creative partners or divine partners coming in to help you um, pick back up and complete some work that you had to stop doing months ago because of the people you were trying to do it with, right? Just because people have the same interests as you, even if they share a similar vision with you, it doesn't necessarily mean um, that you are great collaborators together, right? I could take that in a very low vibrational way, but it's unnecessary. Sometimes people can have a similar vision, but they just don't work constructively together. And so because of that, it might have put a bad taste in your mouth and you might have put some of those things off to the side. But for many of you, you're being guided to pick those things back up either on your own, very solid in like your own vision and trusting that you're going to be able to kind of workshop it out as an individual and or you are going to have new creative and divine partners come in who not only share the vision with you, but also have the ability to work constructively with you on these things. You also have the four of pentacles right here. I'm pulling in, um, uh, you, you will have your fill. You will, ha you will have your fill. So those of you that have been feeling a lot of lack, lack in resources, also lack in support as well. Again, you're going to see a shift in that. You're going to find a lot of people coming forward who want to invest in healthy relationships and um, re friendship and relationship paradigms with you that are more interdependent as opposed to competitive or codependent. Now, the challenge for a lot of you is to release any, um, the word resentment is coming forward. I don't know if it's, if it's that strong for a lot of you, if resentment is really what you're still feeling for the past. Honestly, for some of you, it may be, but again, it's just a little bit of that, that distorted lens that when I work with other people, problems happen. When I share too much, if I'm too open, if I'm too vulnerable with people, problems arise. I always end up regretting it. 
uh, something that had come forward in the cancer reading was um, about desires and what I was saying to cancer was they may deny themselves the truth of some of what they desire because of where their desires led them in the past and what I had proposed them was to ask themselves were your desires the problem or how you met those desires was that the problem for you and so it's a similar energy coming forward right here is vulnerability is collaboration is connection is that the problem for you or was it how you who you connected with how you tried to meet those needs in which environments in which groups maybe that was the problem right it wasn't the point it was the picker you have the ability to pick better now you have a greater sense of discernment about who is and is not for you and who you're going to work well with and who you're not going to work well with and it doesn't have to be a good bad right wrong us them it just is just how the energy flows it's just your energy will unify in areas more easily and more seamlessly than in others and so part of the energy of awareness and discernment is also a bit of just this air of realism as well, right? Just a little bit of that practicality. Some of you, again, may be trying to, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> so you're just like, I'm not even going to go there. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Not today. Not today, Satan. So I see the four of pentacles, or I'm sorry, the five of pentacles coming up next. A lot of you are coming out of a lot of stripping seasons. Um, stripping seasons are where everything gets taken away from you. Your money, your friends, your, your perception of self, just like everything goes away and you are just left with nothing but yourself and creation. There are several reasons why that happens. But again, we are coming into a more fruitful season moving forward. We are coming out of a lot of personal winters physical winters and we are moving into spring energy you may be seeing things like robins you may be seeing things like chickadees chickadees and a magpie take that for what you will um but it's the idea of like you have to shake the winter off of you a little bit and so that is a little bit of this density or some of the purging that you may be doing that it's okay to be vulnerable it is okay to collaborate it is okay to connect it is okay to allow yourself to receive things right but because of the seasons you're coming out of you're still a little bit vulnerable from from that and not entirely trusting that god that the universe has the ability to serve you up treats as well as tricks this had come through in one of the readings i did yesterday about how sometimes we feel like the universe only gives us lessons um, and not as many blessings. And that's not always true. But sometimes we forget that we have consolidated decades worth of trauma, of bad habits, um, of just all of these different things. It's we are have been in holes we've had to dig our way out of. But now that we are standing on the ground, we kind of don't recognize it, right? We're still kind of living out that that narrative or that paradigm of fear or lack or hyper independence um, as, a, as a defense mechanism, all of that kind of stuff. And so you may be, like I said earlier, being pulled in directions or being given guidance to connect, to share, to be vulnerable, to speak your truth, to spend time with others, to get outside of your comfort zone. And it's intended to give you an opportunity to have a different experience. I run the mystery school on Patreon and we do these Zoom groups on Thursdays and Saturday mornings. Um, they're like these training, mo it's like psychic Zumba is what, is what we like to call it. It's like Dumbledore's army. And um, one of the surprising things that that I had, had noticed in the group is one of the primary benefits is that it had given this wonderful group of people an opportunity to practice being with other people, making friendships, um, being around like-minded people in a space that was safe for them, right? Where they could grow friendships, exchange ideas, and not have it turn out to be like a, like a competitive or a, a low vibrational, a distorted thing, right? It was an opportunity for them to come forward and connect even if it made them initially feel kind of vulnerable. And now they're like walking on sunshine. And so for a lot of you, you're getting the same opportunities. You may be guided to go up someplace, reach out to some people, return a call, travel, right? Like there's a lot of Sagittarius energy kind of floating around as well. 
and it's really the idea of, I don't know if Sagittarius is doing something in the stars, um, but I don't think it is. But it's just the idea of kind of expansion and travel and um, having new spiritual experiences. A lot of you guys have exhausted the wisdom. You have sucked the bone marrow out of the bones of the past. And again, through all, uh, all of this deeply internalized work that you've been doing you've become almost hyper aware of self and it's actually created stagnancy within you and so the only remedy for that is to then move outward to be expressive right to expand to connect so that way you have new experiences coming in you have new stimuli like you have new energies to play with right so I do see the Queen of Wands coming out. This is one of my the, my favorite versions of the Queen of Wands I've ever seen. And it's because she's kind of dressed in this blue here. She's not in the traditional red and yellow and orange and, and all of those really kind of fiery energies. Blue is the color of truth. Um, she does have a little bit of armor on. So there is kind of this slight message of... Listen, when you feel this pressure, like when you feel interference, you've been through enough seasons, you've been through enough battles by now that like, you know what time it is, like peep the game. Like you, when you, when you feel someone's energy pressing in, you know, it's either like some kind of, you know, telepathic interference, or it's a test of focus from the universe. Um, you know, when you start uh, getting to a new level, there are new devils, right? There's always like a little bit of interference. There's always a bit of a breakdown right before you have a breakthrough. You know this, you know when you're about to expand all of any, all of your insecurities or any residual fears or your past experiences that are uh, very limiting to you, you know they're going to come up to the surface. You know when you're on the precipice of moving forward to the next chapter, some old people are going to pop up. It's like this is routine now. This is like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? It's like you know she has her armor on. It's like she's prepared. She knows what time it is. So like peep the game around you. Don't let it throw you off. Don't let it throw you off your off your focus. Don't allow it to make you stumble when you know, just like the Queen of Wands, very confidently, like you should be walking forward, right? Just peep it for what it is and just starve it out. A lot of you guys have had to fight your way out of corners in your past few seasons. Again, the energy right now, presently, seems to be that you, you can put your sword down like creation is handling it on your behalf you can sit you don't have to fight yourself out of that corner you can reallocate your energy into better avenues and again i like that she's cloaked in blue because it is a color of truth and so it's the idea of not being confident just out of the ego not just being confident out of you know yellow and orange and red like this life force energy it's not this dominance a lot of you guys have been feeling very emotional you've been kind of like weepy like i've been weepy and this has to do with what i've been calling the great softening there has been a softening of the spirit there has been a softening of the mind there's been a softening of the heart and again part of that is because of the activation of these sacred feminine lines that are coming through to uplift and elevate the masculine energy it's that masculine energy it's action oriented right that wants to go no and this is my space and i'm not going to do that and it always wants to fight back it always wants to push back it always wants to dominate you know it always wants to over exert and we wonder why the collective's been exhausted for at least the last six months if not the last year is because we've been too heavy in our masculine energy in distorted in masculine energy in all of us and so the great softening that's happening is something that we're seeing visually represented for us by the Queen of Wands sitting in this cool, very self-assured, deeply rooted in truth, confidence. This is a different, this is a quiet confidence. This is a soft confidence. It's not abrasive, right? She has this book here. She's learned her lessons. Peep the game. Get still with yourself and sense when the energy has shifted, when a new season is upon you. New seasons call for new strategies. And the strategy moving forward, it's not heavy handed. As I said in the very beginning of this video, it's rooted in grounded action, intentional action. It's not just any thought. It's not just any download. It's the right idea with the right action. That is how you come into Malkut. Okay, shit. 
that is how you come into divine alignment. People ask me all the time, what, how do I get into divine alignment? You get the right idea with the right action. That is how you do that. It's, 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 an, it's a different trinity, right? It's, it's creation with this inspired, it's divine inspiration with divine action. And it's all grounded and it's all rooted. And so for a lot of you, this is part of the anchoring in of these new energies within you. This is why some of you might feel as though you're you're not really sure how to ride the bicycle that is your abilities, that is your life right now. And that's not common for you. And it's because there are a lot of these upgrades. But as things get upgraded, old files have to go. A lot of you guys have successfully quantum jumped in the last few weeks and months. I know my group on Patreon has, we do pretty regular quantum jumps to keep everybody on that staircase moving up to where they want to be. And so when that happens, you're going to see an energetic shedding occur. But every time that happens, it's revealing a new level of your truth, a new level in the how secure you feel in your softness how nice it feels to put your sword down, how relieving it is to let God, creation, your ancestors, whatever it is that you resonate with, you know, right? Spirit's like a checks mix. Pick the pieces you like. It's not my business, but to allow them to work on your behalf instead of running yourself ragged, right? Does that make sense to you? Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Mm. loins I've been pulling in this download about silver and gold and when I'm looking at this four of cups he's very intentionally pouring out these cups that he knows aren't for him you are going to be offered a lot of low-hanging fruit mark my words now that could be offers that are like pieces of silver and they're not gold it's their offers that they're good, but they're not good enough. And it's it's not coming from a place of, um, what's the right word? Entitlement. Thank you. It's not coming from a place of entitlement. It's coming from like a deep soul resonance that like it's not, that it's not set by the divine for you. If anything, it's a test of your discernment more than it is a divine opportunity coming forward. There are going to be energies, people, places, and things that are going to try and trigger you. That's low-hanging fruit to get you out of pocket, get you out of character, get you fighting your way out of that corner. You're not in a corner anymore. Again, discernment, peep around. You got space around you. You got a perimeter. Low-hanging fruit. They're, they may come in through offers. They may come in through ideas. For some of you that are creators, they may be ideas that are very clickbaity. Then you know it's it's one it's one of those right it's like diet Pepsi creator stuff like low hanging fruit. Some people are gonna come in and they might try and trigger you to your baser instincts, right? Get you out of see how his knees are cut out. Talks knees for me talk a lot about mobility, but they also talk a lot about humility that are trying to get you in your ego. Low hanging fruit. Don't take it take I mean take it if you want it's your life I don't gotta live it but I wouldn't pour out those cups that you know are dirty don't drink out of dirty cups and don't let people stick their dirty fingers in your cup stay rooted in your truth stay strong in it be confident in it your truth is a beautiful truth where it's like this is my truth your truth is awesome look at you look how far you've come you see this book this is the record this is the collection of everything that you have learned right? You are turning things down that you would have begged for in the past when you didn't have self-esteem, when you didn't have faith, when you didn't have discernment, when all you had was heartbreak and desperation. We've all been there. Be proud of yourself from being able to peep like what is real and what is low-hanging fruit. You look at something and go, that's not for me. I can do better than that. That's not in alignment with who I am. That's a decision I would have made when I was coming out of fear and coming out of scarcity. I don't have to do that anymore. And then proudly, proudly pouring it out. Also, there's this song. Um, I saw, okay, High Priestess, so I'm not wrong. Um, <laughs> this is like an ad, but I'm like, why am I trying to 
time um there's this song i'll link it in the in the cards for you at the end it's this song by this band called lawrence it's like this big ensemble and there's this one song called don't lose sight and it's a song that they keep playing for me as sort of this collective energy right it's like it's it's the divine saying like don't lose sight she has this one there's one lyric in the chorus and she goes um I try to give them hell, but they don't get it, right? Um, and I get that. It, there is this feeling of, like, kind of being blocked off. Or it's like, I'm trying to get people the best of me, but, like, I don't feel seen. Like, I don't feel heard. Like, I don't feel, like, hello. Like, is there anyone there? Like, it's it's that sort of sensation. And in those moments, right, that is when, like, these little low-hanging fruits are going to come in for you. Because you're hungry. But hold out don't snack before dinner like wait for wait for the real meal right it's being prepared for you lovingly by your family by god by your angels by your deities by your ancestors your higher self it take a whole it took a whole village to get this together for you so don't ruin it don't ruin it on cheese it's when you have like a whole ass meal coming forward to you Use your discernment right now. Some of you with the high priestess, some of you may start experimenting with new um, divinatory tools. If you're a big tarot card person um, like myself, you you may kind of switch up the decks that you're using. You may want to pull some just just some different oracles that normally you wouldn't use. Some of you may be practicing things like scrying um, pendulums osteomancy um clearomancy you may just start practicing other divinatory techniques um to kind of widen your fields of vision widen um like your toolbox as well you may find something in that with this, this key here keys also seem to be very important right now keys come forward in in a few ways one it is the unlocking and the opening of doors for you that previously you were held back from secondly keys also for me have a big energy of hecate so for those of you that um resonate with that that could be a confirmation for you if you work with hecate or if that energy has been coming in for you a lot keys for me also talk about um like key codes key commands I always say that the universe is made out of math. Um, I tell a lot of my clients and I, I've told you guys a lot that there are certain key codes or command codes that you can use. Like for instance, like verbally um, setting up a firewall around yourself. So that way interference either has to meet your vibrational um, resonance in order to come into your energy field or it gets turned around at the door. Um, when I give you codes like I did last month about spirit, please collect me or please connect me to the highest frequencies of the co of my rightful collective because the collective is 8 billion people. We're made up of sub collectives, right? And so you may be tapped in to the energy of a collective or a sub collective that you are no longer really a part of because you you've shifted energies, um you've shifted alignments, some of you have timeline jumps, right? It's, it's all kind of shifting for you. It's kind of like on move in sand baby so by using like one of those key codes such as spirit like please connect me to the highest frequency of my rightful collective is gonna be really helpful for you in getting rid of a lot of this interference also things like the pursuit of happiness that is another key code um a command prompt that i use when i find myself getting a little irritated and i'm noticing it's because i'm absorbing too much energy from people around me who are purging using something like can you please download the pursuit of happiness code for me and that is like the glass i call it my glass half full it's um allows your field of vision to always see the best case scenario always see the silver lining and not get kind of sucked up into like the doomsday aspect that melancholy that glass half empty sort of energy sometimes um i'll use another key code or command prompt um called the laugh track that is a that's a great one that's a great one that's a great one for everyone can you please download the laugh track it um kind of reactivates the inner child as like the driver in your vessel in your vehicle and so you'll download it and you'll find yourself like you'll forget about it and then like two hours later you'll just find yourself giggling about things or watching like something from your childhood it just allows the inner child to drive the car um and it brings forth the energies of playfulness and joy and spontaneity and just surrender like not taking things that seriously 
I had a moment this morning where I woke up and I felt like this really aggravated energy around me and all this stuff coming forward and that and my discernment right kicked in and I just looked at that energy and I just went is really not that deep and I just like went about my day like real quick like I didn't let it stick to me right like so things like the laugh track those different key um codes and command prompts are really going to serve you in this season you can use mine they're there for you enjoy you can also use your own right you can sit there with your guides with your team and develop your own prompts that are just for you um those will be really helpful i need to drink water i'm like you guys are dehydrated drink water and i'm just like a -buh 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 -buh. <laughs> just a motor mouth what can i say so let's see what else we got over here i'm seeing the hangman Mm, yeah, some people are getting caught up in their own shit. Don't let it be you. See this hangman? He looks like a thief. He looks like he literally got like caught in like a bear trap. Also, bears and lions are really prevalent. Bears, lions, and wolves right now are really prevalent. You may start seeing some of them in your dreams. Um, it can be an aspect of like animism. Some of you are animists and you just don't know that you're animists and that's why you connect with plant and animal spirits so much. Um, but some of uh, you may be having them come forward as guides uh, during your journey, during your meditations or in your dream state because some of this interference is playing out in your dream state as well, right? A lot of mimicking energies in the spirits. So if you see them, you may find that they're not aggressive towards you, but they may show up when you're in scenes realms in your dreams um in the astral where there is distortion or there is um unfavorable energies for you so if you see a prevalence of them just that's normal you're you're right on track um but there there is an energy of like revelation here right of that in which has been trying to interfere or get in your way it is being caught up it's sort of like when they say when you build a grave for someone else you better build too because you're gonna you're gonna end up needing your own as well right that's why we love and we process and we forgive and we surrender things so that way we don't get caught up in petty traps right we have bigger things to do we have bigger fish to fry we can serve the collective in a better way than just trying to meet the needs of the ego but that's not everybody right you know carpe diem um and so <laughs> you're just gonna see like some people getting caught up in their own shit you may feel inclined to like play a hero or you know a firefighter like kind of rush in and save the day i love that for you also just use your discernment sit down pray on it ask your guides do your divination you want but just just make sure because sometimes people go through their own learning lessons and it's the same reason we do it's so we can grow it's so we can heal it's so we can align right it's we can come into um a deeper intimacy and harmony with our creator with the all with nature with the world with others the whole the whole kit and caboodle right and so sometimes we may see people going through stuff that is intended to be like a very significant lesson for their own personal growth and sometimes when we put on like our little savior hat right um we can interfere with that process and so just use your discernment use your discernment ask for confirmation before you ride in and, and save the day to make sure that's what you're supposed to be doing and that you're not going to be interfering with a developmental lesson that is coming from sort of a higher order for people right now yeah the five of wands yeah the five of wands in reverse is a need to put the put the swords down um and yeah put the put the swords down put the wands down um again this queen of wands she's not rushing into action she's not full of you know the the yellow and the gold and all this fire really excitable energies she's more focused on grounding in the confidence of her own truth of where she's going that's based out of her own experience and her own personal wisdom right she's much more focused on nurturing these two small babies down here right which can be children the next generation your relationships your business your creative pursuits your passions all of that stuff that is a much better use of her time right um so just be mindful of that with the knight of wands moving forward this knight of wands is a little bit different it talks about expertise um it talks about strategy one of the guys on on these horses 
he has called in someone um, from the outside who has greater experience and expertise in, in that in which he is trying to familiarize himself with. This is, again, what I was saying before about strategy. This is a good season for strategy to utilize it, to ask for wisdom and strategy, the right ideas with the right actions. That saves time, it saves energy, it saves money, and make sure you're you're on your mark. You guys know I like to talk about sort of the the world stage, the the cos the cosmos stage, and how you know you can study all of your lines, and you know, but if the other actors didn't make it to dress rehearsal, if they are not in their costumes, if the stage hands aren't there, if the lights aren't on, if the set hasn't been placed, right? It's like the show can't go on. A lot of the shifting that's happening is that stage being put together, the audience coming in, the lights starting to dim, right? It's like the set being placed behind you, getting the costume on. And so think of it as almost a time where you're reviewing your lines, right? Um, figuring out where your mark is, because that's also divine timing. Divine timing is not just a time, it's also a frequency. It's when you have like the right perspective with the right preparation at the same time and so some of you may be pulling in people like life coaches or spiritual mentors or teachers some of you may also just be sitting down like really closely with your ancestors um with people in your family right who are living who you really admire or respect this is calling in expertise that you can learn from right um so a lot of you guys are going to be doing that i encourage you to do that it's important, part of wisdom is knowing what you know, but also knowing what you don't know, right? Um, there's no shame in what you don't know when you can learn it. So allow yourself to do that. Again, you've really exhausted a lot of the lessons of these past seasons. Um, and as you begin to move forward, you're going to need, again, new strategies and new tools. You're also going to need new mentors and you're going to need new role models that are more in alignment with the assignment that you're walking into. So feel free to, to look around for those people. Just like one big dandelion poof, you know the dandelions and you, and you blow them, there's like one big one just kind of like floating right across my window. Cause let's see, anything else? That's, that's, oh, that's too many. That's too many. That's better. <laughs> it's like, it's just too much too much the queen of swords beautiful and then the knight of wands hold for production who are you hmm there's this song oh i don't remember who sings it but it's called savage daughter Sort of like this very Nordic or like Celtic song. Um, and there's this one line in it that goes, um, and deep in our bones, the old songs are waking. That's just what is coming forward with this Queen of Swords. Because it almost feels like the like, ancestors waking up. Like it's it's that sort of thing. Like there's something about like deep remembrance, um, deep soul bonds and connections that haven't been noticed before or nurtured before. They seem to be coming back online. I always think the Queen of Swords, she gets such a bad rap. Like, people always consider her to be, like, such the bully of all the queens. And the queens are ruled by water. So the Queen of Swords is a combination of water and air. She is logic, she is reason, but she is also flow and she's also compassion. So one, this has to, it's just a reminder for you guys to be compassionate with other people. Even with people that have done you wrong in the past, um, remember, as we're tapping into these rose lines, as we're tapping into Christ consciousness, the idea is to forgive because you too have been forgiven. Um, to not judge yourself, right, for not doing better when you didn't know better. And the same kind of applies to other people. As God does for us, we try to do for other people to the best of our ability, right? She's the woman in this card, she's kind of, her eyes are closed, she's kind of sleeping. Part of this is also being mindful of um, not getting into arguments with people, allow people to be where they are, allow people to sit and resonate with their own truth, even if you don't agree with it, even if you know it may be coming out of distortion, you don't need to correct 
everyone all the time right her sword is kind of face down like she's not actively trying to um cut through other people's arguments right it's going okay that's the way you feel all right um and just kind of leaving it there right because again she's she's resting for the time that her expertise that her opinion that her voice that her vision that her truth um it will be um received for the right people and the right places so this is really an energy coming forward of like don't beat a dead horse don't feel the need to like over explain yourself or your process to people as well um an air of mystery is kind of cool right now right um you don't need to give everyone like your backstory people that aren't gonna again um be able to collaborate with you in a really constructive way allow yourself to put the sword down as i said before that creation handle let it do what it does right um the world's been spinning since you know long before we ever got here and it will continue to spin after we leave so you know they've they've got it pretty figured out by now you know the homeostasis and all and just kind of save your energy save your breath for people places um and projects that matter right that matter and also try and hold compassion in your heart compassion allows you to uh participate in the great softening that we collectively are going through it also makes it easier for you to release things when you can look at an energy when you can look at a person you look at a situation and go i know why you're doing that that's okay i'm not going to be here for it but i get it i leave you to your process and you move free clean hands clean heart clean conscious right and and that's really for me very much connected to this knight of wands to be really aware of a tendency to be kind of impulsive if you look at this knight of wands um she doesn't look like she's totally sure if she should be rushing in and that horse don't look like he's so sure that he should be rushing in either and so it is just a message of um because the queen of swords she can be a little sharp tongue sometimes to again be compassionate in your dealings with others it will allow you to forgive and to release where necessary be mindful of um impulsivity impulsive action remember you want to take grounded action we don't want to move out of ego we don't want to move out of triggers we want to move really intentionally Again, the right ideas, the right visions with the right actions at the right time. How do we discern that by being tapped into ourself, our truth, the center of who we are and with creation as we know it, right? Because creation may manifest for all of us in different ways. Um, be mindful of how you speak to others. Also have boundaries with how you allow other people to speak to you. But again, it's calm. It's cool it's collective when you're in a frenzy you can't really pull in like what you need to be pulling in have you ever been really upset and you're like i just i need a sign like i just i need a sign and nothing comes in and it's just like it's like demoralizing but then when you kind of just calm down you just relax you look up and then boom like there's a sign right there right when we get too triggered when we're too much in the ego the frequency of that energy it makes it really difficult for signs, guidance, um, messages, um, even healing energy to come in and really permeate our fields, right? Um, and so it's important because again, low hanging fruit, there will be low hanging fruit for all of you. Um, and it's just an opportunity for you to make really intentional and self-aware decisions. Again, that low hanging fruit, it could be triggering moments that want to get you in the ego. Um, it could be offers or opportunities that you know, they're okay, but it's not really what you want. And it, it's going to require you to compromise your vision. Um, it may be things like self deprecation, just, just all it's low hanging fruit, you don't have to take that again. Don't eat snacks um, that are going to hurt your stomach when you when you have something like really good and fulfilling coming in for you. But be mindful of the low hanging fruit. Um, don't impulsively take action on it or feel the need to impulsively go and like rage against the machine against it either let god be god let let the universe do its thing trust your guides trust your ancestors trust yourself stay focused in the present moment again expand your divinatory practice play around with these new energies allow yourself to fully embrace the great softening allow these really beautiful 
earthy masculine energies that are coming from the earth that are coming from within you allow them to rise up allow the reactivation of this sacred feminine fire to come forward and not burn everything up right but instead like a kindle keep it warm nurture it yes stay hydrated the shuman is kicking your ass the shuman is kicking my ass i've had the woozies for days but stay grounded i know it's a little bit boring but take your salt baths ground yourself drink your water go to bed a little bit earlier especially if you're restless get to bed a little bit earlier have like a new like sleep routine for yourself so your body can kind of acclimate to that energy and overall just know that there's a lot of really beautiful things coming in for you and yes the energy is intense and yes you may be a little bit aggravated and yes you may sense some interference but it's okay it's being taken care of for you the most the main thing that you need to take care of is yourself is nurturing yourself staying grounded and present in the moment staying tapped in where it is appropriate so that way you can take intentional grounded action when necessary so you are not thrown to and fro by every tom dick and harry low-hanging fruit that wants to come in for you right that wants to just stir the pot it's your pot don't let anything come in it's like they're dirty fingers in your cup very good very good so this is what i have for you also seek assistance where you need it seek assistance where you need it use your key codes use your prompts as you see fit etc so this is what i have for you i did not intend for this to be an hour long um i was like i'm gonna do a 15 minute update and they're like sure you are you have fun with that idea lauren um but this is what i have for you guys i hope this was helpful i hope this connected some dots for you guys um if it did resonate then i hope it gave you some beneficial tools to use i love you so much um thank you for being here thank you for spending this time with me i love you I will see you later. Goodbye.